that came out to uh, witness the celebration today. And we are so thankful. And, and the day is, is a good day because the Bible says the day, today is the day that the Lord hath made. And we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Uh, you know, it may be a sad day, but, but it is a good day. Come on, it is a good day. Matter of fact, why don't we just make it a good day? Is that all right? Can we clap your hands and love God? And Come on, let's just make it a good day. I believe the family need us to make it a good day. I believe the family need us to celebrate. Come on. Come on, y'all can do a little bit better than that. Hallelujah. Let's just act like it's Sunday morning. Come on, let's, come on, let's just clap and thank God. Come on. Hallelujah, because one day you're going to want someone to celebrate you. Come on, let's praise him. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Come on. Hallelujah. It is a good day. It's a celebration. What if we went to the clubs? We celebrated. Come on, when we step through the door, we praise. We didn't praise God, but we, well, I guess we praise the devil. Come on, but we praise. We had, we was ready. Amen. To dance and, and, and get our drink on. Come on. Praise God. So that's what we're doing today. Come on. Brother Andrew would want us to, to, to come in this way. Come on. Hallelujah. So we're thankful. I, I'm excited. Amen. I, you know, I've been going through the grieving process too. I'm excited. To be, I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I'm excited. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're so thankful. Amen. Uh, once again. Uh, we just want to give you some instructions. The bathroom's over to the left. Amen. If you need to use the restroom, the men and women's bathroom is either through that door. You can go uh, through the uh, hallway. My name is Pastor DJ Brown, pastor of Charles Harvest Worship Center. And I do have some ministers with me today that's going to help us out. Amen. And uh, so we want to get on, get right on into it. Uh, I'm so glad that I don't have to put on the front or be you know try to be all this that and the other i just love god we didn't just bless you just like how you are come on we put so many restrictions on how we should live for god hallelujah we, we don't even give god room enough come on to do what he got to do but i feel there's something exciting and great is going to happen today and matter of fact amen I, i'm gonna make sure that it does is that all right Amen. We're going to have a, a, a scripture reading from Mr. Minister Clark from uh, Mount Erie Baptist Church. The pastor is, is, is we call him Little Giant, Pastor Wells. Been knowing him for years. And then right directly after that, uh, Pastor Marty is coming up with uh, the prayer. And then a selection by Tysha Turner. God bless you. The Old Testament scripture reading will be coming from the psalmist in the 23rd Psalm where it reads the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in the green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, uh -huh. though I walk yes, through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Yes, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. The New Testament scripture reading comes from the gospel according to John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. 
where the inspired word of God reads, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not where thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the, the Father but by me. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Great God and King, whose name is Jesus Christ, thank you so much you. for blessing us to come before your throne of grace once again. Thank you for your love, you. your kindness, your new mercies, and your continued grace to us, your people. Thank you because this is the day that you have made, and we are rejoicing. And we're glad in it. Even in our times of sorrow and grief, God, you are our comforter and you are our peace. And we thank you for that today. Father, we come humbly yet boldly before your throne of grace and ask that you'll rest your hand upon the Turner family this morning. That, God, you will give them your peace, your comfort, and your strength during this time. Lord, we pray that you will give them a peace that passes all understanding that keeps their hearts and minds in you, Lord Jesus Christ. My God. Lord, we pray that during this time of reflection and celebration, that we will also reflect upon our own lives. Help us to give heed to wisdom. Help us to number our days that we may give heed to wisdom, God. Help us to recognize those areas of our lives that need to uh, change for the better, God. And Lord, help us to repent and confess those things that are not like you so that we can be better individuals, stronger, wiser, and better, and rapture ready in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, wherever there's any grudges or any, any, any ill feelings towards anyone, God, help us to forgive even as you will forgive us if we repent and confess our faults to you you're faithful and just to forgive us so help us to be forgiving help us to love during this time after this service is over god help us to love and not take one another for granted but to celebrate and to honor one another as family and as friends god in the name of jesus christ bless your manservant today as he brings words of comfort Bless every soloist, every musician, God, as they minister to the hearts of the family today, that we leave this place with our minds on you. This is our prayer in the matchless, wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hello, family. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm gonna sing a song today, but I'm gonna say a few words first. I'm probably more nervous than I've ever been, so y'all pray for me. Um, even since my father passed, I've sang at actually two funerals and just kind of numb to it. And um, I knew that this day was gonna come, but um, I'm gonna sing to his glory because if anybody knows him, y'all know that he woke up every morning and posted a post on Facebook praising God yes. and thanking God for his life and for his family and for all kinds of things. It was a ritual for him. So we're going to praise God on his behalf today. Um, before I go forth, I just want to say that we are filming. We're live on Facebook. Uh, we will um, have the video of this service and um, the slideshow that you guys are seeing available. 
available on um, YouTube after this, but please try not to walk in this middle area here. Otherwise, you might get your butt caught on camera or something. So, <laughs> And then you'll be mad at us when we don't edit it out and your big booty is in the camera. Amen. But um, thank you guys all for being here. Um, it's just so nice to see your faces. As I was preparing this selection last night, I saw all your faces and it done something to me. So I might have my eyes closed. Okay, guys. Uh-oh, my mic is tripping. I better switch out. This is a worship song. So if you need to stand on your feet, stand on your feet. If you need to lift your hands, lift your hands. Amen. We come to worship God today. We come to give him all the glory. We come to give him all the praise. Hallelujah. We love you today. Hallelujah. And we honor you today, God. We know that you are our comfort and you are our strength. Hallelujah. And that there is nobody like the Lord. Hallelujah. I've searched high and I've looked low and I haven't found nobody that can treat me like my father, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Play that song for me. Y'all praying? Excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name is power. A strong tower makes me safe. Oh Lord, our Lord, how your name your name is strength your name is power a strong tower makes me safe oh, 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 oh. no Everybody lift your voice, say it. 
like this mm. Who would have served a God like this? Sustain, yes, hey. hey, you're faithful in all of your ways. about and the Lord has delivered us and he has loved on us when we were unlovable when we weren't even worth nothing to our own selves but he gave us value so you ought to give him a praise right now I'm looking at you right now I'm looking at you right now God has been good to you and who wouldn't serve a God like this and you probably think it in your mind, well, I don't serve him. But perhaps in your private time, I know you're saying a thank you every now and then. Oh, come on and give God a praise here. Don't be ashamed of your neighbor. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for life and that more abundantly. Thank him for prolonging your life when it should have been over by now but we're still here we're still here and we must carry on and so we want to have reflections of T-Fly remembering the good times amen that we had with him amen and for, for the most part we still can have good times as long as we have our memory and Alzheimer don't get a hold of us, praise the Lord. <laughs> and we don't lose our whole mind because we still have our memories. Amen. It's so good to see the wife here. God bless you, Sister Veronica. Let's give God a praise for her because this is not easy. This is, this is not easy at all. Amen. Because when two become one, it's... It's a deeper hole than what you all can ever imagine, especially 
you know, considering the circumstances. So I know some of you have lost loved ones too, but today is the day that we celebrate him and we comfort one another. And so we're going to ask for those that were pre-selected to come up at this time. Um, we, I'm calling nicknames now. So if you would please just come, amen, and then uh, stand on the pulpit and uh, so that we can expedite some time because it is hot in here and it's hotter over there. But I'm going to call for reflections from Squatty, from George, from Isaac Jr. and Selene. So if you would please come up at this time, give God a praise for them as they come. Amen. This is family and so we wanted to give them the opportunity first and then I believe that there are a couple of friends that um, we're going to speak as well. I don't know if uh, someone could help us with some seating up here. Praise God. Um, there was someone that Tyshar talked to and we can't remember the name so you but do you remember what they look like? See, because some people be trying to hide and stuff. Yeah. Pinky. What was his name? Who was it? Amen. And perhaps we would need one other friend. Come on, Len, you're, you were on the list. I got, I'm not reading all the way down. We had one other friend that was going to come and share. Sister Nita, if you could please come. After I stop pointing, that's going to be it. Amen. So what I'm saying is that everybody starts talking and then everybody starts getting comfortable on the inside and, and then they want to come on and then we don't want to have to pull your coat or your jacket or nothing. Amen. Or embarrass you. But we want to do this decently and in order. Amen. So if that young man is here, if uh, you would please rise to the occasion because Anthony had a lot of homeboys I know you in here amen I see you I'm looking at you Michael Prince Michael Craig Michael somebody say Michael Prince Calling your name. We're calling your name. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I know. You got it. You got it. But we're going we gonna to have you to seat until the family speaks, okay? Amen. I wouldn't want you to fall up here. Let's put our hands together again. Praise God for amen. Squatty, which is the big brother as he comes to share with us his sentiments of T-Fly. Amen. Hello, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming out, giving my brother the respect. You know, just let me know, you know, how much love my brother had on you all. You know, I can remember coming up as a child. You know, my brother, he used to be out there low riding and everything. And at that present time, I was uh, up under my mother's wing. But all I could do was sit back and watch him while he washed his car, clean his rims, and get out there and do his thing, and I always wanted to be like him. Finally, my mother clipped my wings and turned me loose. And when she turned me loose, my brother told me, I got you. Mm -hmm. And when I got my first lowrider, well, when I got my first lowrider, T-Fly took that low rider and he showed me how to low ride. You know what I mean? And before I knew it, you know, my brother, I didn't know, all of our homeboys would be at his house. And when I got to his house, I seen all the low riders in front of his house. And I said, yeah, this is what I want to do. And we would ride around the house parties and everything. And then we came up where we got to give ourselves a name. And we gave our car club a name. Our car club was called West Coast LTD. I am 
one of the original West Coast LTD. Yes. You know, me and my brother, I can remember me, him, Rodney, Greg, Mike, Reggie, all of us used to always be at the Armstead's house. And when we were there, we would be all out there just cleaning our cars. So we all started hanging out down on 26th and Imperial at the gas station. And uh, before you know it, that was the spot. You know, one thing about T-Fly, T-Fly had a heart of gold. It wasn't nothing T-Fly would not do for you. You know what I mean? Anything go wrong, I was not mechanically in kind like T-Fly was. And I, anything go wrong with my low right, I would call T-Fly. Lo and behold, T-Fly there, when T-Fly leave, I'm right behind him. He didn't fix my car. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, as we was coming up, my dad, let him rest in peace. My dad was real sharp when it came to fixing appliances. And he took my baby brother, Junior, my older brother, T-Fly, and he put them back there in that garage. Me, I wasn't into that, but they was. You know, T-Fly could get back there in that garage and he could turn a gas, a, a electric dryer that's 220 volts. He could turn that into a gas dryer where it's only 110 volts. You understand what I'm saying? That's how sharp he was. Junior could get in there, man, and tear down the engine in a washing machine like it's an engine in a car. When Junior come from out of that washing machine, it's ready. Now, my job was after they fixed everything, I was the one that washed it down and cleaned it up. I think I had the best job out of all. I would wash the appliances down, clean them up, and get them ready to put out there in the street. And that's how we did things over at the Palmer residence. But like I said, we was brought up very well. Our parents taught us well. You know, and we had the utmost respect for everybody in our community. Everybody in our community loved us. And that's one thing about it, you know, God has treated us well. And you know, like I said, the knowledge that my brother had, he gave it away. And they always say, you can't keep it if you don't give it away. And one thing about it, the generation we have it coming up today, the knowledge that we was taught, we need to teach it to them. Yeah. And we teach it to them the right way. We did our job. Yeah. So I just want to tell you all, I love everyone out here. I'm looking out at all these faces of people I ain't seen in 10 years. I stay in Dallas, Texas. I'm down there by myself for a simple reason. My wife passed away on me while she was there. So I had the option to pack everything up and come back to San Diego or stay and ride this out. Today, I am a manager at Walmart. Today, I have my own apartment, stay by myself. Today, I have a vehicle that's sitting at my house right now, full tank of gas, and I'm here in San Diego. So, you know, like I say, God has blessed me. For a simple reason, I put everything in his hands. Yes. Now, there's times where I be down in Dallas where I miss all of you. Being in a state where you don't know nobody, you're by yourself. Only I can come and do this. It gets a little scary. <laughs> I was going to let him keep talking, but when he said he didn't want to move back to San Diego, I said, I'm going to go on and tell him, your two minutes is over. <laughs> hey, this, I will get going. This is what I want to tell you. <laughs> This is my niece. This is my niece. I love her to death. And she got a beautiful voice. Amen. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Y'all got two minutes. We'll give you an extra 30 seconds, but then we're going to come and get you because we'll be here all day. And we're going to go eat and we're going to go enjoy family after this. Amen. Isaiah is going to speak on behalf of his mother, Brenda Palmer. Amen. Hello, everybody out there. Uh, I just want to say, like, I know for a fact I loved my uncle T. Fly like to death. Like he was always there for me, just always, always there for his sister. 
he like let me know like one day like I was just taking a drive to him, just dropped his food off. He just said, yo, I always wanted to make sure that he professed it to us. Like, yo, I love y'all. My uncle always had like just this beautiful, bright energy about him. I never seen him smile. Like, I never seen my uncle like frown. Even there could have been a moment where he was like, he a little upset. I guarantee you there's a smile right after that. <laughs> like immediately after that. And that was just one thing I always loved about my uncle. Was just, he was always there. He's always happy, bringing the positivity. Something I always like want to try to keep within myself. Because like, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I, it's hard, but. Because like it was definitely something like it was hard for me to like get a grasp on too. Like it's still for me to like hard, but. That's my uncle, and I, all I can say is I love him. And, and I know for a fact everybody here in this family have like a lot of love for him. It's great to see all his friends out here who had love for him. It's like I'm seeing other like parts of my family that are like they're like, oh yeah, Uncle T Fly. Like yeah, we all knew. I was like, dang, yes. Like he was out, he was known. He was that he was that man. And that was just something like that charisma is something I hope that I'm able to like you know carry on into my life as well. Cause like I always watched my Uncle T Fly growing up at all the little family events that was there. It's like. When I'm naming off uncles, my Uncle T-Fly come first. I was like, I saw Uncle T-Fly there, da 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 It's like, man. And it's just, but I still know, like, even, like, when we I was all getting together tonight, it's like, or the other night, I still felt his spirit there. His energy is still always with us. And i just like to thank him for being able to give that to us all. Miss Veronica, oh, my God. I, auntie, auntie, I love you. So, uh, so we got to give a quick prayer for you. And Heavenly Father, we just pray that you continue to heal my auntie's heart, Lord. Keep her strong through this that she's going through. That was her other half, Lord. And Lord knows that my uncle loved her. Loved her to the, to the end of the world, Lord. He has let me know that himself. I just ask that you continue to keep her heart strong, keep her mind steady. There's still a path set in front of her, Lord. Keep her anointed. Let her know that this family is here to help her through this hard time because none of us have to do this alone. I just ask that you continue, just keep your watchful eye over her. Keep her health strong. Keep these each and every one of my uncle's kids strong, Lord. Nieces, nephews, all that he has left behind, Lord. Let us know that we can make it. We can keep that same energy that he had here for us. Walk into every room with a smile like he did, Lord. Let my Auntie Veronica know that he is right here beside her at every moment. Right now. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Celine. Good afternoon, everybody. Anthony was my oldest brother. So I'm going to dedicate my two minutes to him, to a, to a song that been on my heart for a long time. And I thought it was perfect for my oldest brother. I'm just hoping that God just touched my lips, touched my voice, and that every one of his homeboys can relate to this song. Call on me 
wouldn't be ready to die Plenty good room Plenty good room Good room in my father's kingdom Plenty good room Plenty good room uh, Just choose your seat and sit down A backslider I'll tell you the reason why cause if my Lord should call on me Kingdom, plenty good room, plenty good room. Uh, just choose your seat and sit down. Uh, just choose your seat and sit down. I love you, T Fly. I love you, my oldest brother. I love you with all my heart. Choose your seat and sit down. Hey Amen. Thank you, Auntie. We're going to call on one of his friends now, Mr. Michael Craig. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome everybody that came here. Obviously, we're here because T Fly had touched us in one way or another, uh, and we're here to show our love and respect. And I want to convey my condolences first and foremost to the family, the brothers and sisters, the siblings, the children, uh, his offsprings, his grandchildren, everything. T Fly was my friend. T Fly was my brother. Me and T Fly went through some stuff. I mean, man, but but that but but he was my. I mean, uh, following up what his brother Squatty said, man. T Fly had a heart of gold. T Fly never denied me. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I I just can't say enough about him as a friend and a brother. Uh, one time he had a party. And there was a party in the backyard. Y'all know 32nd and Island. Those of y'all know. Anyway, uh, I was on one, which means that uh, 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 I couldn't stop. And so I couldn't find nobody to dance with me. I went and got Mama Catherine, Miss Palmer. Boy, and we partied, me and my. She said, she said, boy, you the, you the smallest man I know with all that much energy. And I said, yeah, but I'm, I'm celebrating uh, your son T-Fly's birthday. And we had a ball. Me and T-Fly went through some stuff. And, and no matter what, man, he was always had my back. I always had his back. He loved his family. Believe me, he loved it. He talked about his family relentlessly. He never talked about his family in any negative, nor his friends. He never talked about his friends in any negative way. T Fly, as his brother Squad, he had mentioned, was had a heart of gold. And I want to remind you that we are here to honor that, man, because T Fly affected us all in one way or another. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. And so we're here to pay our respect 
and a celebration of life with T. Fly, and T. Fly has given us, he has given us all a reason to want to, you know, continue living and celebrate his life in remembrance and uh, just to make sure that, you know, you keep what he had going because like his, like his brother said, he had a heart of gold. His sister Selene sung a beautiful song. Uh, the uh, lady right here sung a beautiful uh, song in remembrance of T-Fly. And those who came from near and far to celebrate uh, the celebration of his life, uh, on behalf of the family and friends, we welcome you. Y'all see how he worked in the stage? He don't uh, walk from they, one side to the other. Uh, uh, I didn't know T-Fly for oh. two minutes, and now they're trying to give me yep. two minutes. <laughs> I, uh, man, uh, -fly was my I'm fly, just look. saying. And, and, and for T-Fly, look, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, all right. Hey, man, he was working that stage. He went from the other side to the other side. He wanted everybody to see him. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you. We're going to call on Nita Gale. Nita. Nita. Can you not hear me? It's you. Yeah. Look, they over here in the spirit. She didn't even hear me calling her. Two minutes. Okay, guys. It's going to be quick. Um... God bless the family, and um, T-Fly was my real good friend, and he did so much for me, and I was really happy to know him as, you know, a good friend, and um, I'm glad I got a chance to see our lives change, uh -huh. and God bless the family, all the relatives and everybody, friends, and um, continue blessing everybody. And all I got to say, he was a good guy. He was a good friend of mine. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Uh -huh. I just seen George walk in, and I know he was supposed to speak, so we're going to allow him some time, and then we're going to let Lynn close us out with this two minutes. No, you're going to go last. We're going to have George come up. Come on, George. We'll seat your children. Don't worry about them. We got them. Two minutes. I'm going to make this two minutes long, <laughs> but fast. <laughs> um, one thing I want to say about my uncle is progress. He had a lot of, he showed a lot of progress. You know, uh, I can remember as kids, me and my brother and my cousin, Columbus, We used to we used to we used to wait on Tuesday nights because it was Tuesday night fights, and so he would make us laugh through the fights. So we would wait up for him, and we say, you know, we'd go outside and yell off the porch, "T fly, T fly, come on, man, the fights is coming on." He, is, he said, "I'm coming, I'm coming," and we get so mad we start throwing rocks at him to come in the house, <laughs> so he can watch these fights with us and. He, he'll come in, and, and when he come in, he'll, first thing he would do is uh, make us something to eat to watch the fights. And what he would make is called a spread, if anybody know what a spread is. So, so the first time he made a spread, he was like, man, what, we don't want that. We want some, some uh, we wanted some French toast. We want French toast, man. He said, man, you better dig into this spread. <laughs> I said, we don't want no spread, because the spread is just a lot of stuff dumped in and mixed together <laughs> so on this particular day when he, when he had the spread already ready for us and he says uh we said what are we going to eat to watch the fights he said spread we said oh man we don't want no spread our stomachs start hurting <laughs> so we got some rich crackers and we got the rich crackers and we before you know it, the whole spread was gone. We was looking at each other and said, this spread was good. This is what we've been missing this whole time was the spread. <laughs> he made the spread taste like something that you would never think. So, um, Uncle T-Fly, 1995 is when he came home. He never went back. Progress. So that's why I want to leave everybody with progress. He showed his progress and he endured. Started going to church too. 
That's what I'm leaving you guys at my two minutes. Progress. Progress. That's good. I remember picking him up that day. That was the last time I picked him up from Donovan. So many, so many years ago. Sister Lynn. Hello everyone. I want to give honor to the family. You know, this seems so surreal. It, it truly does, because we all grew up together. We all grew up together. Wet behind the ears, didn't know nothing, thought we did. <laughs> Me, Squatty, Brenda, Selene, Cassandra, it was, it was one of them days. I just, you know, Warren, of course. You know, I just want to say that I still don't kind of believe it, and I'm standing here because I've been knowing this man since I was 15 years old. And we used to talk all the time. We were just friends, but we would talk all the time. We would talk mess, you know, um, he was the kind of person, and y'all want to know why, how he got T-fly, Tana fly Because he'd be over here one minute. And, and, and God is honest truth. Didn't I just see you over there? Seriously. And that's how, you know, in, he started to become Tana fly T-fly first, and then it became Tana fly You know, because he'd be one minute. Man, didn't I just see you over, across town over there? He said, don't you worry about it. He said, I got this. You know, but, you know, as, as the years went by and, and time moved on, you know, things started deteriorating and, and, and he started uh, praising and thanking God because for one thing, I didn't think Anthony, you guys call him t Fly. Anthony didn't want to be close to God. But when the time came, he had no choice. And when that time came, that's all I heard from him. It's thank you, Jesus, and hallelujah. God is my witness. And if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. And just like uh, Tracy said, he posts them, um, those posts on his uh, Facebook page every day. Every day. There was sometimes twice a day. There wasn't a day that went by that he did not post those posts on there. And I said, thank you, Lord. You got him. Got him. Got him. This time you got him. And you know what? And I still thank God that he got him. Because, see, his death was not in vain. His life was not in vain. He wrote this, this life. He wrote it. And when he wrote it, he was happy. When that man left here, he was happy. Because the last time I talked to him, he said, don't worry about me. He said, God got me. I'm happy. And had a smile on his face. And I can say that God's honest truth. I can say that. And I just want to thank God for his life. My other daughter, she didn't want to come. Because she didn't know what to say. And um, it, was all, it, it was okay because she said, Mama, I don't have nothing to say. I said, just say that you love him. And it's good. Because see, at the end of the day, we all got to come to God. We all got to thank God. And I just want to thank God because guess what? He allowed me to stand on this stage today. And honor this man for his life and his death. And he had a good life, regardless of what he did. He had a good life. And um, it's been hard because, like I said, I've been knowing this person, this man since I was 15 years old. And it doesn't seem real because, you know, when you have friends throughout your life and then you, they, they're gone, it's, 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 it's hard to, to deal with. And Veronica, he chose you. And I'm going to say that. And I'm going to be for real about it. Yes, ma'am. He didn't want to marry me. <laughs> but I just, want to, I just want to thank God for just being here today. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to stay clothing in her right mind. Come on and shout hallelujah. He, he wanted to marry me when I was so, so mad at him. Try to take me to the church on the corner. I ain't going nowhere with you. Amen. Stop it. <laughs> right now. Amen. Ain't nobody doing nothing. You can just keep on walking. 
Amen. But thanks be unto God that the Lord gives us opportunity, amen, to have seasons of others' lives. And you ought to praise God for that. Amen. That's what she's talking about. God gives you a season, gave all of us a season with Anthony Earl Turner, Tenafly, T-Fly. I used to hate to say that name because I knew what it meant. I'll tell you about it in a minute. <laughs> Praise God. But it's fun to be able to come together and share. And I know you've read that obituary a thousand times, but we want to say, uh, acknowledge everyone that's here that's not blood family. We know that you're family because of the neighborhood, but nonetheless, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the calls. We thank you for anything that you have done in the midst of the grieving of the family because it means so much. And I was talking to uh, my daughter earlier and I was telling her, I said, well, you know, for the last three weeks, you have uh, been trying to hold yourself together. You don't want me to see you break down. You don't, I know you don't want, but when you see all the people that come to pay respects, all his uh, homeboys and everybody else, it's going to bring joy, bittersweet to you. And those tears are tears of joy. So you ought to give yourself a hand. That's right, Verona, give yourself a hand because if the room was empty, then that means that he had no impact on nobody's life. And thank God that we're no longer under the restriction of a pandemic. Amen. I guess the Lord said, I got to call him after the pandemic. Hallelujah. Because I need to bring these people together. And, and we are uh, such, we're liberated because of that. And we don't have to, we walk now. When we leave here, y'all do what y'all got to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we all can be living again. But I know you've gone through the um, obituary. And so we're just going to go through to the poem and um, I believe it's in here. I know it's in here somewhere. I got the wrong program. Amen. Pastor, if you could bring, oh, here it is right here. That poem says life. Life is just a stepping stone, a pause before we make it home. A simple place to rest and be until we reach eternity. Everyone has a life journey, a path to take with lots of something because I can't see that. God's guide, our God guides our steps along the way, but we were never meant to stay. Our final destination is a place filled with love, his majesty and grace. Today we celebrate the life of a loved one who has gone on before us, the race he has won. His journey has now ended, his spirit has ascended, claiming the great reward with Jesus our Lord. Amen. Come on, put your hands together and praise the Lord. Amen. Because those are the facts. Amen. We no longer have to research. Amen. About what life is and what life is after. Amen. We transition. But at this time, we're going to call for Cassandra Palmer. Thodel, Thodil. I always say it wrong. Thodil. I say all kinds of stuff. But let's put our hands together and say praise the Lord for her as she comes to minister in song. Hello, everybody. Before I do my song, I need to share a little story between my brother and me about our big brother, Anthony. My mother was a nurse and she worked at night. And daddy did appliances through the day. So when we got out of school in the middle of the day, Andy was in the backyard fixing on a car. So you know, when you come home from school, you be hungry. You be hungry. And me and Ginger would be like, Andy, we hungry. We hungry. And Andy would say, all right, hold on just a minute. So you know when you're fixing on a car, you got oil on your hands, <laughs> your clothes dirty, <laughs> your hands dirty, your body dirty. He would come in the house. He would grab a bag of potatoes. <laughs> he would peel them potatoes, cut them, <laughs> and he would throw them in that hot grease, and he would give them to us on a plate and they would be black with Crisco oil, chicken oil, 
had car oil, but we ate them french fries. <laughs> them was the best dirty fries I ever had in my whole entire life, and I will truly miss them. I love you guys, and I'm going to try and do this song, so bear with me. As God stand with me and help me praise him in honor of my brother today. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from God's sunshine. They may turn to gray And Lord, I, I don't worry About my future For I know What Jesus said And today things oh, by tomorrow service where that we will now hear words of, of comfort. And 
other than Evangelist Brown will be coming at this time. Let's clap our hands for her. She's a preaching woman now. Come on. Amen. Well, I might not preach today, but praise God for everyone that's here today and enjoyed that selection. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I know that when my tomorrow arises, if I am going through some difficulties and all my trials and my tribulations, that there's somebody that's going to hold my hand. And you know, it's so often times, of course, during these times that when we are faced with grieving, everybody will go their separate ways. But the Lord will be right there to walk you through. And I always say he don't walk you halfway through. He walks you all the way through. So give God a praise for being committed to your life. Come on, give him a praise for being committed to your life. Hey, God, I glorify you. <laughs> he is committed to your life. Woo. So committed that he gives us a date to come in and gives us a date to leave. So committed. And so he is not unaware of what is going on in our lives. And we just thank God for everybody here and to our family, to uh, all of you that are here. We bring you greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as my husband said, I'm Evangelist Brown. I'm Pastor Brown. I'm, but for some of y'all today, I'm Bernie. Oh, come on and give God praise. I'm just Bernie. Bonus. <laughs> Amen. But we thank God for friendships and we thank God for relationships. But I'm not going to be too long because we're getting hot and, I'm, and I know all of us are hungry. But I want to minister today and I want to thank my daughter and my son for entrusting me to be able to do this. They don't realize how much that means to me. And you know, as you live in life, you never know what lot is going to fall in your lap. So you need to be ready. And so apparently the Lord knew I was ready to do this. You know, you never think of things like this that you would have to be responsible for, especially as, like Lynn said, when we were out there, we were young and dumb. And y'all know the other word that's underlying. I'm not going to say that in the pulpit. <laughs> but we were wild unlearned and that's all good because all of us go through that at one point or another we used to call each other ignorant and call each other dingbat and all kinds of stuff but nonetheless over time the Lord's grace and mercy brings us to a place that we come to our senses and if you're not in your senses and you are over 40, <clears throat> I'm praying for you. Somebody just might take you out. But I pray that you come to your senses and realize that God is sovereign. And as much as you want to do something to him, you can't. I've wanted to bite God and do all kinds of things, especially during these times. But... He is sovereign. He is the Alpha and the, He is the Omega. And so I want to say to you, thank you for coming for, to help us to bring closure because this is what it is. Of course, this happened three weeks ago, but today is another day that we can bring closure and there will be other times that we will do it regarding the transitioning of our beloved T-Fly. And all of our relationships in here vary. So today I'm going to do a testimony talk. But I'm going to use this particular scripture that's found in the book of Songs chapter 55. And this is what the Lord gave me for T-Fly. It says, and I said, oh, 
that I had wings like a dove. For then would I fly away and be at rest. And I don't know about you, but I know that there's been a time in your life where you were up under so much pressure and so much duress that you just wanted to get away. Get away from people you love, get away from people you like. And this particular time, David was praying an internal wish because death had not come. And he wanted to be free. He wanted to be at peace. And he said in the next verse, I would just wander off and remain in the wilderness so that I can get peace of mind. <laughs> so that I could be out of sight and out of mind. How many of you have been like that? Amen. And so I entitled this eulogy, The Road Trip. Because oftentimes we just want to get away. And you know, in, in our younger days, we didn't have transportation, so we had to get on the three bus. For some of you that are here, and go up and down Ocean View and the four was one that took you to Skyline. I didn't want to go there because I had some fights with some people out there, bless God. Most of them fights was because of T-Fly. So I couldn't go out there. But nonetheless, we're all on the road trip and we have been on this road trip with one another and also with T-Fly. And so that means that we all have certain relationships with him. And my relationship with him, and I'm sure that Veronica can attest, and so can Lynn, and everyone else here can, the brothers and sisters. All of our relationships are different. But I'm talking about the relationship I had with him for a minute. And at times, I just didn't like him. You would say that I had a love-hate relationship with him. We were young. We met in the winter of 1969, and I too was 15, so Lynn, I don't know where you was at. <laughs> and he was 17. I was ditching school one day and had just left Memorial Junior High and had went over to the side of, by the bleachers and smoked a blunt. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. And so that's where we met by the bleachers as I was ditching school. I was in a turmoil because I had just lost my father recently. And so I wanted to get my mind in a place where I didn't have to think. But soon after we met there at those bleachers, we soon started dating. And of course, we started mating. As you can see, we got two children. And I recall him saying to me, would you like to go with me? Now y'all looking at me crazy again because I looked at him the same way and said, go where? But this was the, the, the thing that you would say to a young lady when you wanted them to start dating you on a consistent basis. Right now, I don't know what you guys call it. I think you call it you just come get me and what, what do you say? Huh? Just, just come and get me and then today and tomorrow I don't know who you are. But this thing was to be consistent. And so going with, other, uh, with each other meant that you were off limits to other people. And that meant that you were committing to be true to each other. So we went to a lot of parties and we went to a lot of house parties. We did a lot of drinking until we had blurred vision and couldn't balance ourselves. Dancing to good music like the Isleys, the Dells, the Shy Lights, the Stylistics, James Brown and Shaka Khan. Doing dances like the Four Corners, the Hunchback, the Jerk, the Slide, Slow Dancing, and the Frankenstein. And he was very well known for this Frankenstein dance because my sister and I would always call him uh, Santa Claus for some reason. I'm going to give you the reason. is because he used to wear these boots. 
And most of us that are close to him, we know how his legs are. He always stands backwards on his leg. And when he would do the Frankenstein, I'm here to tell you, he would almost jerk his whole body out of, out of whack. You would think he was going to have some broken bones. And he would just do the Frankenstein and sort of go like this. And me and my sister would be sitting over somewhere just cracking up. Because his shoes were always angled in. <laughs> but those were the good old days growing up. And lo and behold, not long after we hooked up, at least within a year's time, I was found and we called it knocked up with a child with number one, Terrence. And from September 1969 to 1970, March of 1970, I was pregnant. At first, he didn't want to be a father. And, and we broke up during the time of the pregnancy. You know, we were teenagers. And as I thought back, I said, of course, he was not ready to give up all them girls. He was not ready for that responsibility. But when I looked out the window, why was he looking in my window and I was in there in labor? And I told my sister, I said, you tell him, I said, leave. I don't want him here. But I didn't mean it. So he showed up. Somebody say he showed up. And he accepted it. And it took every bit of one week for him to come with the milk, the stroller, the baby food. <laughs> and he always said his son was going to be dressed to the T. And so as many of us know, T-Fly didn't have a problem making no money. And if he didn't make the money, he would lift them clothes. We had all kind of clothes. We'd go lifting together. Somebody don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We'd go lifting together. <laughs> Standing there talking to the salesperson and got about $150 clothes on. Talking to him with clothes on us. But the children started, Tudor started growing up and he uh, was tickled about how Tudor would bob his head trying to hold it up. And this is the way Tudor got that name, Tudor. Because we'd always watch that cartoon, Tudor the Turtle, help me, Mr. Wizard. We would just let him bob his head and he's trying to hold it up. He said, help me, Mr. Wizard, help me, Mr. Wizard. And he became Tudor by way of his dad. So now we're in the family way. Two years later, I'm found with child with number two, Tyshar, who he called his Yetta. Where he got that at, I don't know. And I heard something else about a ladybug. I don't know where that came from either. So we find ourselves in the family way and we moved into a house together. And y'all call it cohabitating, but we called it shacking back in the day. Somebody looking at me like I'm crazy right now. My husband knows all this, amen, praise the Lord. So I want to give God a praise to him right now for enduring these memories with me. But we got in the family way and we were shacking and calling ourselves getting settled in. And in those houses, there was so much that happened. Some things were ready. We were ready for and some things we were not. You know, some of you, I know that when he passed, I don't know about you, but I started thinking about all of the houses that we lived in and some of the circumstances that were going on in the house. And I know that you all have a different relationship with him than I did, amen, because when you are a girlfriend, and then this was way back in the day, amen, is totally different. And then it might not be because people have three or four now, you know, set aside and all of this other kind of stuff, side pieces. Y'all ain't gonna like me today. But some of those things I wasn't ready for. But I still stayed there. We'd go to parades and movies and parks and go to the lake and even make it a date to go shoplifting. <laughs> he made sure we both, <laughs> as a matter of fact, we both made sure that we never struggled for food, clothing, or rent. And the main places we went to when we went, we didn't go to a sit-down restaurant. We didn't do that kind of stuff. We'd go to a place called the Golden Star. Some of you know what I'm talking about. 
and we would get all of those tacos with guacamole. I didn't get no guacamole. He said, Bernie, get me five rolls. I'm like, I already know what you want. You don't have to tell me. But I'd go get those tacos and then we'd go to places like the Jack in the Box and eat all that food up and then the next day be sick as a dog. But we still went. But in our family way, the bonuses were the component set and of course, the washer and dryer, the floor model TV. We always had to have the latest. And how he got it there, Brenda, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know. Some of the things he would get there. He would get, I don't know where he got it from. It would be up under the house. <laughs> but we were on and off again. We had good times. We had bad times. We had fights. We had verbal fights. We had physical fights. And he would always tell me, keep the family together every time we'd have a real one. You know what I'm saying? A real one. He said, I'm really leaving you this time, you know. He taught me how to fight him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Before it was all over with, he was scared of me locking doors and hiding. Well, bless God. See, because he didn't know where I came from. I came from the Blake family. And I had seen about enough and had already promised myself, ain't nobody going to do me like that. They're going to get hurt or they're going to die. And he would say, keep the family together. Let's keep the family together. And I say, what family? And he say, you tripping, Bernie. I always say, you tripping. I know he probably still use that word, you tripping. He say, you tripping. But I say, well, you know, I don't care whether I'm tripping or not. You better go somewhere before somebody get hurt or die. So he'd get in the car and go somewhere. And that's probably when he was tenor flying. Ooh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> I thought he was just going for a ride <laughs> to get away from me. So he would go somewhere, and when I heard him coming back, I would turn the music up real loud. And then the next morning, he would get up and turn it back up loud again. We would ignore each other for days. This was our coping mechanism in the midst of it all. And our house, wherever we live, became the hub for the homeboys, as you heard. They'd come there and they played dominoes, spades, smoking weed, frying french fries, frying chicken, having fish fries, barbecuing, washing the cars, and working on the cars. I didn't want him to do it for them for free. I felt like he should charge them. And then knowing Tenafly, they might have paid him, but he didn't let me know. <laughs> Perhaps they made some trades and some deals. <laughs> I don't know. But we lived our life, and that was the life. Being surrounded by our friends and having those lowrider cars. And T-Fly got on the ride. And he was a dreamer. And he was a visionary to me. As I look back, you know, when you're with somebody, you think you Satan. <laughs> Amen. But now that I look back, he had vision. And he was a dreamer. And he had a vision for these cars in particular. That's why I called it the road trip. Because he would come to me and say, Bernie, I got I to gotta lift this car up. And I'm talking about, what you talking about lift the car up? He tried to break it to me as easy as he could because I wanted to know what was going on. You know, how is this going to change my life? So he said, I got to lift this car up. He was talking about improving the way that the car looked. Not only how it looked, but how it ran. So he took, quote unquote, his car. But I, I put money into it, but it was his car. And he threw them rims on there. And he had the nerve to ask me, do you like the crackers or do you like the, the Supremes? He knew I was mad about it, so he gave me a choice on what rims to put on the car. But he always had an extra pair under the house. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because they would uh, steal from one another. 
Amen. Somebody go home and then they get their, have their uh, car on blocks. Somebody know what I'm talking about here. So he took it and he would, he put a sound system in it. And every day he would shine those rims and wipe that car down. And one day he would go by with the shining rims, wiping down the cars, making sure that it had gas. And Friday nights we would go sheening, cruising as you call it. At some point, he got the interior poster done. See, he was doing a little bit at a time. Lining up the interior. Got the glass pack mufflers. And I used to hate to hear that sound. Because he'd make that sound so loud as he's leaving the house. <laughs> he said, I got to lift this car. And the next thing you know, he, being, he starts working on the car and the hydraulics come out. Some of you know what I'm talking about. It involved a, a motor and transmission fluid and hoses and o-rings and he put that in there and he officially became a low rider i knew then there was no stopping him then he put it in the shop and he got a paint job on it designed by him and baked by mr taylor it was a lime green metal flake and gold 62 chevy with template lines throughout the paint we went to pick up the car, drove it the back roads because he didn't want nobody to see it. <laughs> and then that night, Brother Squatty, he came home and said he wanted to go sheening by himself. And Brother Squatty, you know the story. Because you almost died that night too. Because he didn't want me to go. But he went, amen, with a couple of things messed up on the car. But we would go sheening even after that and we would go to the places and we'd go and show up on the scene and drop the car down and then lift it back up. Y'all know that sound. You love to hear that sound. Ying, 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 ying. We go showcasing it. And these basic cars were converted into custom cars. I liked it and then I loved it. But when I went on the way to the hospital I start thinking about all of these things and when I got there all of these things began to come to my memory that of the first child the second child and then the third child which was that 62 Chevy it kept surfacing in my mind and I thought about all of the road trips that we took you see he first fixed the interior that was the vision and then he added a little touch to it then he lifted the car and made it so much better. And at times we would hit the road and we would talk. High on something, but talking. And listening to the song, Cisco Kid. Oh God, that song just used to take us there. But on the way to the hospital, I understood this, that this road trip that Anthony was on this day was reserved for him and not for me. You see, his name was called, and he heard it. He heard it before we arrived there. And what I love about what he used to do to those cars, he bought those cars as is. And he improved the value of it by restoring it. Anthony T. Fly, as most of us call him, knew about the restoration and the grace of God before he took that ride to the hospital. He was grateful for grace. He lived through a lot. He gave a lot. He took a lot. So day one, we go to visit and his chest is rising and falling. I thought about those hydraulics. And I saw his chest go up. Veronica and I were there together. Chest go down. We talked to him and we prayed. And his blood pressure elevated when I told him I meant all those things I said to you. But you're doing good. So he was ready to be lifted. I said to myself, just like those hydraulics, he is ready to be lifted up out of this earth realm. So day two, we got no word about what was going on with his condition. Day three, while I was there and we were talking to him, Veronica and I, his levels began to decrease just like it would in the hydraulics. 
And I remember he would go out in to his car and you see the hydraulics were in the back. We, we couldn't put groceries in the trunk, my Lord. We had to put them in the front seat or in the back seat because it was full of the hydraulics, full of hoses, full of hydraulic fluid and batteries. Always had to keep the batteries charged. But this day, the batteries were losing their charge in Anthony T. Fly. The levels were decreasing and the decision was made by God. It's time. And so as we stood there and they unhooked him from the hoses, I could hear those hydraulics just going, yee, 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 yee. amen. The body might be going down, but my spirit it's getting ready to lift up out of here. I bless the Lord here, God. And so, see, the road trip for him was complete. Because he was ready to be lifted. And even as David was saying here, there's times when we have to get away. He said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then I would fly away and be at rest. And he says to the Lord, I need you to talk to me. I need you to listen to me. I don't need you to ignore me right about now, but I need you to take heed to what is going on on the inside of me. And I know that when he was being lifted, his voice was amplified to God. Hallelujah. We couldn't hear the noise, but I know he was talking to the Father. And he said, because of my enemies, the voice of my enemies, you know, sometimes you play mind games on yourself. And then sometimes others be playing mind games on you. But see, Anthony Turner was getting ready to get out of here. And it was not going to matter about the mind games. Somebody shout hallelujah. It wasn't going to be a matter anymore about whether somebody can hold him down or whether somebody can hold him back. It wasn't mattering whether somebody was saying you're the worst. Because in 1995, he made his turnaround. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. And you see it is that when we're on the road, and sometimes we're over in the fast lane. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But then we're cruising. And then all of a sudden, we see the sign that says that's your exit. And then we cross over lanes so fast. Hallelujah. That that we don't even know how we got over there so quick uh, and avoided an incident. Uh, but see, it is like that. Uh, when it's time to transition, uh, you don't have no time to think. Uh, you can't put your car in reverse. Uh, you can't do none of that stuff. Uh, somebody shall is your time. Uh, hallelujah. And when you come uh, to the end of your road, uh, there is no question uh, that you're going to take a spontaneous turn but he took a spontaneous turn hallelujah and we were there to behold it so you ought to give God a praise hallelujah because he took give him a praise give him a praise he don't have to deal with no more senselessness he don't have to deal with no more hurt he don't have to deal with no more fear he don't have to deal with being nervous. See, he was ready to enter that road. He was being chased by eternal life just like we all are. Yeah. And although the exit may seem like it's a spur of the moment, it is not a spur of the moment. It is God. He said, you're once born and you're once judged. You once born, once die, once judged. T-Fly did his course. He finished it. The scripture says that in a moment in the what? Twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Waiting to be changed. His soul is with God. 
Come on and give God praise. If you want to know where he is, his soul is with God. Hallelujah. And that what matters the most is the spirit and the soul. God called his breath back. And now his soul is with the Lord. And there was something that he used to always say to us. He would call on the phone and he'd be talking to me. And then he'd say, Bernie, later. Cut me off in my sentence. But I'm saying to you today that he took his road trip and he said, later again. Come on and give God a praise. I'll see you later. Stand to your feet. Let's give God glory in this house for the road trip. Thank God for the lifting of the soul. Thank God for the lifting of his mind. That he made his mind up. He made a decision. Hallelujah. He made a decision. And now his soul is with the Lord. The road trip. He took his exit and he is as safe as he can be at peace. God bless you. Hold up, son. Hold up. Pause that. Just want to say one word about Pops real quick. He said he wasn't going to say nothing. Because I, I, I thought I was going to get choked <laughs> up, so I'm going to go ahead and let this out. You know he was a real good dude, man. He was everything to me. He used to teach me so much. From the younger days till getting old, we used to play chess together. I'm gonna really miss those chess games and just sitting there talking to him. But here's a good one. When I first turned 18, I went to jail on my 18th birthday. Scared as can be, because I was just 18, about to go to the county with, with the big jail now, right? Apparently, right? Uh, long story short, before I even got into jail and go upstairs to 3F or whatever they call it, 1B or 2A or, I forgot, I ain't been there so long, right? But it was 1F or whatever. It, um, they already knew that I was my, my dad's, that's, I was T-Fly's son. The whole jail knew this is T-Fly's son. And they took care of me down from the COs to the inmates. They were all taking care of me on my 18th. So I give pops props for that, man. And this song right here, y'all can stand back up because we celebrate T-Fly's birthday. He's in heaven now with a new life, new birth, new everything. Amen. So this song, man, is called I'm Blessed. Me and my dad, we used, to, um, we used to roll around for the last couple of years here now. And I've been doing music. And so he, these are the songs that he wanted me to play every time he got a call. Hey, son, play my song. So this is I'm Blessed. You know who it is. Prophecy music. Long live T Fly, man. Let's go. I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man. With no stress. How many believe that today? I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. No stress. No stress. I'm blessed. God is good, God is great, for we all have taste. Mercy from above, grace all in our face. God, he showed his love by preparing a place. For those who trust his son, took the sin out the race, erased. By his blood, we are dirty as mud, till we receive and believe Jesus into the sludge. He'll wash it clean, so chase your dreams. By renewing of the mind, you can do anything he'll bring. Peace and joy in those times where it's needed. Never settle in your life, just know the devil, he's defeated, he's heated. That we made it this far, don't turn around. God's too good, won't let you down, no frown. You just clown, turn that frown upside down. For we're free, free indeed, we're no longer bound. I know he's with me, he's living through me now. He's the air that I breathe, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm, I'm anointed, anointed, I'm delivered. Sing it. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man, with no stress. No stress. I'm blessed, I'm healed. I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. No stress. 
Come on. Cause I'm blessed. blessed. My life is in his hands, I'm walking in his glory The author of my life, he knows the chapters wrote the story Adores me unconditionally, a prodigal seed Lifted out the biry clay, become a son of the king Blessings he brings for diligence, for life is a ship Tossed to and fro, but Jesus on my hip I use his word like a clip, fully loaded, watch it spit At the devil, he's alive, he's always counterfeit I got faith, it ain't hard to explain Hit your knees, renew your mind, get back in the game Road, narrow, rolling solo, always stay in my lane Seeking God through the pain and die for Christ, his game so I remain and I'm tame. What was done in his name for Jesus Christ? He didn't die in vain. He didn't die in vain. I'm testimony of his glory. Trusting God, he wrote my story. And he's the one and he adores me. I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. Sing it. My life is in his hands. And God, he will deliver. I'm blessed. We used to be rolling, man. Me and Pops bumping in the car. Playing this all day. Cause I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. No stress. No stress, family. Cause we blessed. Sing it. I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. God, he will deliver. I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man. With no stress. I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm anointed, I'm delivered. My life is in his hands. And God, he will deliver. No stress. No stress. Because I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I'm healed. How many believe that today? How many believe you're blessed and you're healed? We're already living in something that's already been done. No stress. If you believe in God, he'll believe in you. I'm blessed, I'm that's all healed. I gotta tell you. If it wasn't for his grace and mercy, where would we be? I know I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. I'm blessed, I'm healed. Pay me down. I'm blessed, I'm healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this next one right here, real quick. No matter what you're going through in life, believe me, God knows, man. I just made up my mind to follow him through the thick and thin in my life. Yes, yes. I know where he brought me from. I know what I've been through. And it was a real dark place. Yes, God. Some of my family members know what I used Testify to go through years Lord. ago. I was a sherm head. Look at me now. I'm in the house of God praising the Lord. That's to let you know God can't bring you out of anything. Amen. And he, he will keep you. If you need him to keep you, God will keep your mind and keep your soul. Go to God for everything, man, no matter what it looks like. And this one is called, oh. Hey. Let's go like this, let's go like this. Long live T-Fly. Just wave at him up there. Hey. Yeah. Come on, turn me up a little bit, son. Check this out. Oh. Come on. I trust God in this life will be all right. How many of you gonna be all right? Though we may creep and weep and cry at night. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep inside. I gotta praise him. I put my trust in the Father. Oh, come on. I trust God in this life will be all right. Though we may creep and weep and cry at night. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep inside. Come on, gotta praise him. Put your trust in the Father. Oh no, here we go. Christ took control and he saved my soul. He told me he won't leave me on this tedious road. Giving me the strength and the power so. Now I'll give him praise for the rest of my days. On this earth first, you gotta seek a new birth. You gotta know your worth. Seek ye first. We all came from dust going back to the dirt. Christ from my side, I'm a ride. Let him inside, but I had to drop my pride. In him I hide. His salvation saved the nation. Gotta have patience on the Lord wait. A winner who can't lose. With Jesus the good news. Living his life rules. Making a way smooth. So I can play it cool. Because I trust in the Father. Oh. Hey. I trust God in this life will be alright. Though we may creep in, weep and cry at night. Come on. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep inside. I gotta praise him. Put your trust in the Father. Oh. I trust God in this life will be alright. Though we may creep and weep and cry at night. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep inside. I gotta, gotta praise him. Put your trust in the Father. Oh. My eyes open like a newborn. You can be reborn. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm who I am. In Christ my life, transformed in this light By renewing of the mind, I left my past behind Stay divine and wine, for it's all in this time What we seeking, we'll be seeing Churches on the weekends God is here speaking through the pastors 
All hail to the master of ceremony. I'm living through his testimony to pass a seed rooted pressing towards God's glory. That's a mission that we all gotta see. Destiny set free from my lights on the beat. In his hands I stand. I'm knowing Jack Jesus can. He lifts me out of my jam because he knows who I am. For his Christ, he strengthens me. Watch me clean in thee as I yield to thee. Lead the way. Father, I pray when we stay. I see vision. My decision would you parlay? It's all for your glory, Lord. Testimony living one accord. That's where I wanna be at. That's where I wanna be at. Oh, come on. I trust God in this life will be alright. Though we may creep and weep and cry at night. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep in sight. I gotta praise him. Put your trust in the Father. Oh, I mean to believe that. Trust God. I trust God in this life will be alright. We gonna be alright. Though we may creep and weep and cry at night. For it's his joy, oh boy, I keep inside. You gotta praise him, put your trust in the Father. Oh, you can be reborn. One thing's for sure. Church is on the weekend. Y'all praise me. Thank God. Long live T Fly Man. I made some um, dedication CDs to him. I got some for my family and his siblings and everything. Everybody else, I'm taking a small donation. Road trip to CD. I'll have it over at Auntie Dinky's house. We want to thank you guys all for being here today. I just want to ask his sisters, his brothers, and his wife just to come up here. And we're just going to pray and leave out of here. We're just gonna stand up here in solidarity for my dad, his brothers, his sisters, his daughter. You guys can come right there, come right there. His brothers, his sisters, if you guys wanna bring your children, that's fine too. We're just gonna stand up here and pray in solidarity together. We do have a catered um, reception for you guys. It's not a full lunch, but it's some stuff for you guys to refresh yourselves with. Amen. It's over in the fellowship hall. So please join us. Um, there's some a little bit of seating over there, and there's some seating outside. We want you guys to join us um, and refresh yourselves today. Auntie Brenda, you can't make it? We stand in the gap for you. Amen. And I'm going to ask uh, my pastor to come and pray. If you guys want to just grab hands. This is T-Fly's immediates. These is his immediates right here. Amen. Amen. This close of this day, we want to... Thank God for the celebration of life. But we're going to pray uh, for this family. Amen. As by his God, we thank you for the grace that you afforded us today. We pray that this service was pleasing in your sight, oh God. I, I pray, God, today. We know we're going to need strength for the day. But God, for the remaining days afterwards, God, as we go to our separate places and we, we call on your name, I pray you grace us with a visitation, oh God. That you would, God, envelop us into your love and, God, into your, your peace. God, into your power and your understanding. We just thank you, Father. We know we all, we, all of us have to take this journey and we have to end the day just like today. But that's not the end of life. That is the beginning of life. For we will forever be in your hands, oh God. I pray for every, every tear that be a memory behind it, oh God. For you say, God, they that, my God, sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. We just love you, Father. We thank you. Bless this family. Uplift him. Uplift them and undergird them, oh God, as they cry out to you, oh Father. Bring memories back to them of the time that they had, Father, with Anthony. Thank you, God, for the brothers and the sisters. Father, all the siblings, oh God, thank you, Jesus. For the family and the friends, we've come, God. And I believe that we have helped them, God, to get through this today. We just love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. I just want one more thing. You get that book for me, Tracy. I want to do the committal. I believe it would, would not be, it'd be befitting for us to do that. Amen. And now, unto the mercy of Almighty God, we commend the spirit of our departed brother and commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection at the last day. When those who die in the Lord shall be raised to eternal glory and an endless life of joy and peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and that their works do follow them. Amen. God bless you. This concludes our service. Clap your hands and give God praise.